Happy Friday, everybody. Kat Sievert here with another Friday devotion. Blessings to you this month as we are in November. And of course, we are looking at giving thanks. Now, there's a calendar that I created. Uh, if you haven't picked it up, you can grab it in the office or it's in the link in the email. Um, but just a simple way for you and your family um, to one, get in God's word and to think about things that we're thankful for. And each week we're going to look at something different um, in hopes that it kind of just gets us thinking about what's going on in our lives, where's God, what's he doing, and allows us to have good conversations with our family, with our friends, um, with people about faith and who God is and what he's doing. So this week I have a question for you. What do you do when you're cranky? What do you do when you're mad or upset or frustrated? What do you do? What do the people in your family do? And what do you do? You see, when my kids were little, it started with my little girl, um, with Leah. She had big, big feels. And so we would joke when they were little that we had to shake the crankies out, right? And we would pick her up as she's a toddler and we would kind of just move back and forth. We didn't shake, right? But we would kind of jiggle and tickle and move back and forth. And we joked that we would kind of shake our crankies out. And as we did that, obviously it turned from being upset or cranky to a moment of connection, of laughter and of fun. And very quickly we turned a moment from being upset and frustrated with our bodies to a moment of um, connection with relationships that matter. Uh, my aunts, even one time where we were talking and one morning they said, we just need, we need Kat to come over and shake our crankies out. Like, what do we do when we're mad, right? Or when we're upset or when life is tough. Um, during November, a lot of people love to give thanks and to look at the good things. But what if things are rough? What if you're in a season or a storm and things aren't as easy for you or it's hard to give thanks? And so we look at what do we do when we're not feeling our best, right? When we're off. And so uh, when we're cranky, when we're sad, what are those things? In our house, it will shake the crankies out. Now, one of the things uh, most people in my family would say is music. We love music. We love to listen to music. We love to play music. We love to sing out loud uh, in the car, in the shower, in the front yard, you name it. There's constant music kind of in our house and any, all kinds, right? Different genres, different types of music, um, but we love music. And it made me think of this verse. And one of the verses this month is from Psalm 95. And it says, let us come to him and give him thanks. Let us praise him with music and song. Right, So when we're upset or when we're struggling or things are going on, maybe we don't have the words, right? Maybe we don't have the things. Maybe there's something we're not really thinking of in this moment that we can thank God for. But what if we roll down the windows? It's getting nicer that we can do that. Roll down the windows, turn up the radio and play a song and singing songs give God thanks and praise. And we can use that as a way that we can thank God or praise him for the things that he's done. Now, maybe it's something different for you. And what are the things that you do in your family or individually when you're struggling or upset? Is it music? Is it song? Is it something else? What are the things you do that bring you back to a state of praise, even when things are rough? May God give you peace uh, in your struggles, or may song be the thing this week that you use to praise him and to thank him for all the things he's done. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for today, for the ways that you work, for the things that you do. God, you are so faithful, even in the storms, even in the struggles. Lord, we just give you thank and praise through songs, through dance, through all different ways. God, that you are with us and you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings to you this week. See you Sunday.